because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I want to go through the silver trade that we talked about here on Friday. If you remember this long-term weekly number that we were looking here, which is a 27.60. Remember, I sold it at 27.60 with a two-cent stop, and we missed this by half a cent on Friday and it closed right on the high and I said oh dear this is going to be a disaster for me especially after I'd seen all the charts that JC Parrots had sent of how high gold was going up in different currencies and the fact that it could literally accelerate to the moon and it looked like it was going to do that last night but last night when silver opened it dropped folks 70 cents now by the time I got to the, to the machine it was trading right here I ended up getting out of it at about a one cent profit and of course it went straight up now the reason why i'm bringing this to your attention is you know my whole thing is a b c d and fibonacci that's what i do i put in stops i don't know which ones are going to work but i know the batting average is going to be 60 percent roughly okay you're going to have strings of losses no question about that you're going to have some incredible strings of profits too but if you don't put a stop in Forget it. Do something else. It's just not going to work because you think something's going to happen. Chances are it probably won't. But if you follow a little program that works relatively well, and we've been doing this here at TFNN now for uh, 17 years, make sure that uh, you put a stop in because if you don't, you're, you're – uh, uh, what do you call it, roadkill or cannon fodder. It doesn't make any difference. But look what happened. After the low came in, you'll notice that silver pulled back. You'll see – went almost exactly to the 61% retracement, missed it by a penny. That meant that we probably had an A, B, C, D pattern in this level right up here. And you can see the high of the day, the ABC measured to 28.18, and the high of the day was 28.19. So it missed it big time that time. It missed it by one cent in silver. Now we've had a move down. There was your first 382 retracement right in here if you did that. But let's do, since we don't trade silver very often, and this is something that I put in the newsletter, is make sure you take a look at what's happening in the gold market because here's what we were watching in the gold. There was a number we were watching. If you go down to that smaller time frame, because gold opened sharply lower also, you can see what happened here. There's where it closed on Friday. There's where it opened. Broke really hard. Get all the way down to this level right here. That's really a big surprise, right? Because the last time we had a drop like that, just drop in, see the last time we had one like that, it dropped that far, and this time it dropped eh, not quite that far. But where did it stop? We'll just take a look from the low that we made on Friday to the high that we made on Friday. Where did it stop? Exactly at the 61% retracement. Now, if we did the same Wait, it's not done right. That's incorrect. Let me do it because it missed it by about a penny, I think. Hold on. Trying to be as accurate as I can here. From the high up to the low, we came uh, to the 50% level right here. That's where it came to. It didn't It didn't quite hit. This was uh, 19 uh, was the low. and uh, Excuse me, 20 was the low. 618 came in at 18. But what it did do is it did the same thing that silver did. Going back to that little thing we call the ABCD. And if you mark it there and mark it there, it measured to uh, 2372.80, and the high was, this was a little better, 2372.80, hit it exactly on the money, and then there's your first 382 retracement here with your ABCD that we like to see right there, that came in at 2358, so that's where, we're, now we had a move down, it hasn't done very much, it still looks incredibly bullish, now I've been saying all along, watch the market when it makes corrective moves, see that last corrective move there, 
corrective move there. And what has it done so far today? Did almost the same thing. A little bit more may or may not mean anything, but that's how you trade a market that's trading for $234,000 and you try to trade it for less than $1,000. That's really what you're what you're looking at as you as you try to see these things unfold here. But right now, it still looks incredibly bullish. As a matter of fact, if you did the ABCD again, there's your first ABCD move of the day right here. And where does it come down to? Right down here to 2338. And what was the low? 2338. And it's already rallied $10. So that's that's the, the, the nature of this business is its probabilities. It's not certainty. It never will be. And I hope you don't uh, ever think that it will be because it won't. And in this, what I do is relatively simple. It's not hard to do. It takes practice. And you're going to have periods where you know, you're going to have losers and you're going to have periods when you have wins. But if you hold on and just do what you're supposed to do day after day, you're going to be uh, doing OK. Now, we're going to have a full time uh, three hour trading day on Friday from nine. Excuse me, from uh, nine until 12 o'clock New York time. I'm going to be trading live and I'm going to be doing it again every two weeks for a couple of months here and uh, see how because we've had a request to do it. And I, I like doing it in three hours. Uh, a week is not going to be hard for me to do, especially uh, Friday, and we'll be able to have some pretty good things. As usually report that day, you have a lot of uh, volatility, so that's what we're looking at. Now, one of the charts that I've been asked to talk about is the hog chart because that was one that looked like it was beautiful. Here's a really a perfect example of something that just flat didn't work. Here's your June hogs. I'm going to get these up here on the daily, okay? Now, Oh dear! They're, they're, well, they've gone up. Well, they've they've matched the high of yesterday. We'll look at it on a smaller time frame. But there was the three drive to a top pattern right here. Okay, there's where you were wrong. You see when it went above that, that told you that there was something wrong. And of course, it still continued to go higher. Now, what you've had today is a narrow inside day here. You can see it right here. If you look at this on the smaller time frame. You're going to see there was the high of yesterday. It opened a little lower. Hasn't really gone anywhere. There's not really a pattern here that you can look at. The way I handle this is I won't touch this until I see uh, a pretty good correction, and then I'll look for a retracement possibly uh, on the Hawks. But this was a failed pattern that just didn't work. Okay. Now, with all the explosion that was going on, hold on. I want to get rid of this. I want to talk to you because these metals went really crazy last night. Uh, on Sunday night, and I wanted to bring to your attention copper because, you know, we had talked about copper having a high in that 126 level. Let's see where we can find the copper. Here's copper. Let's get the weekly up so we can take a look at it because we should have taken that high out of the previous week. Let's take a look at where we are. There's uh, where we're looking for it to get just a tiny bit above here. If we look at the daily, you'll see that we had a really nice pattern forming here at the 431 level. Okay, now so far the high on copper has only been 430. It's trading at 428. So that's another. There's an ABCD pattern right here. That was a possibility that we could get to that point. We haven't got there yet. It's trading, well, it's not very, it's only two cents away, so they could make that in a heartbeat, right? So that was another one. But sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Let's take a little break and pay a few bills, and we'll be right back. Our guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter. Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a four-hour chart of the Treasury bonds going back to January when we had the top of that rally, which was a ABCD up at 126. We're now trading at 117. The reason why I'm bringing this chart up is because we had a uh, special request from one of our listeners out of Wichita, Kansas, to talk about bonds today. You can see we've been in a pretty strong bear market here for the past uh, four months. Uh, we're getting near some major ABCD patterns down here between 116 and 115. Jamie Donovan, the CEO of JP Morgan, came on today and said that he was looking for 8% interest rates in the bonds. Well, boys and girls, 8% is going to equivalent to something about 106. Uh, that's $11,000 from where we are right now. So we have to be very, very careful just because he makes that comment. I mean, they've actually rallied back. Since he made the comment this morning, the bonds actually rallied a full point. So they might have, he might have used that uh, for his traders to, you know, to cover their positions. You don't know. You know, that's you know, the bottom line of, of what you're looking at here. So just keep in mind that this market has been very, very bearish for a long time. If we look at this on the long-term weekly, you can see there's the big 135 pattern. There were three of them. There was, there was number. Uh, 1355 five was over here and then we had a new 135 that completed up here at the uh, 124 level okay and that's where we are now now the $64 question in bonds is here's where we are we're getting ready to come down now this is the major bottom now we're coming up and you're getting ready to make an ABCD to the downside here, 115, which is actually at the 3861% uh, retracement. Okay, so that is going to be super major uh, support. We get start below here, this level of 115, uh, 114, uh, 15 or 115, start getting below that, there's trouble in River City. This could be the low because it was right at the 50% level. Bad news, the market didn't really collapse. 
bad news was the fact that Jamie Dimon came out. He's well respected, and that's one of the reasons when why they came out and says things like that. And he has his right to say whatever he wants to, just like I do. You know, the only difference is he he knows a lot more than I do. And the second reason is is that I. Uh, <laughs> I don't control the kind of money that he does. But anyway, th this is what I'm trying to show you is if we get rid of this, you'll be able to see here that the high from this level right here, if that is indeed the high, that means that this low right here from this high, well, I'm going to put these in because they're very similar. I'm just going to put it over here. Uh, it just draws it wrong, so I've got to move it over just a little bit. That's the problem with it. It's a little too sensitive. There's the high that I want to catch. And there it is right there. In other words, that's this A, B, C, D. And where does it come to? About uh, two and a half points of where we are right now. Okay? So let's keep in mind that that's what we're paying very, very close attention to. All right? Very, very important. Okay. Now, let's move on here uh, for just a second. And we will uh, cover one other thing that someone asked me about, which was Tesla. Uh, Tesla is under a lot of pressure. I don't know what it's doing today, but we had some pretty big uh, price objectives down here. Hold on one second. Uh, Jeff Huge will be our guest here in about 10 minutes, so bear with us. He always has some great stuff. He's coming back from a well-deserved vacation. And uh, let's get the daily here for Tesla up. And uh, you'll see, oh, we're, we're actually rallying pretty good in Tesla today. That must be the reasoning for the thing. Now, I personally believe that we are heading down – to this level right here in Tesla, which is quite a bit lower. That's whew, that's way down in here. The fact that we took out this low, you see this low here? This low was at 160.51, and the low today was 160.51. These were exactly the same low, 160.51 right here and 160.51. How can they be the exact low on a stock that's trading for 170? That means somebody was there with a big bushel basket waiting to buy it if it took out a tick and it didn't do that. That means it's had a pretty good rally. That's a good sign because we've rallied uh, a good 3.5% today in Tesla. So that's a that's a very positive sign. Okay? So keep that in mind. Very, very important if you're trading Tesla. That tells you where your stop should be, that's for sure. But whenever you see that, we saw that in Apple. Remember the Apple at 167? That's a good thing to learn. Here, let's go back and – because repetition is the mother of knowledge. Hold on. Get this up here. We were looking at this and see how Apple's only – oh, Apple isn't doing very much, though. Apple did pretty much the same thing here. You see here, we had our low back here, which was at uh, 168.49. This low was 168.23. 23 cents, and the market doesn't go anyway. Well, today's low is 168.24. It's equal to that one. So, you know, these numbers, people know where these are. They know where the, where people put their stops and things like that. So that's why you got to do it. You always don't want to put your stop at the double bottom. Put it about 2 or 3% below the double bottom. And if it's going to hold, it's going to hold. Apple does not look that good, folks. You know, it's still still heading down. We had that beautiful pattern that we always talk about, the, the uh, mother god and country pattern, is when you go from this high right here, your A, B, C, D leg right to there. There's your 382 right here. There's your A, B, C, D right at your 382 at 175, and that had $10 in it. There was another 382 here uh, in the uh, Apple also right here, that two-day rally that we had. We go from the high down to the low, and it goes right to the 382, and maybe a tiny bit above it. Let's see. Yeah, right there's your 382. Went to half a dollar more and then came down again. Here's Apple. If you want to trade Apple, just as soon as it breaks above this line right here, that means it's finally started to go up. So we see about 172 or something. You could buy it at 172 with a stop at 168, a $4 risk. That's uh, less than 3% the value of the stock. That that's a that's an ideal trade. So you buy it if it gets up above here and put your stop right below there if you wanted to do it that way. I mean, that's a that's a really neat way to, to, to trade. That's what they call a valid trend line because it hits these Fibonacci numbers on the way down. You can see them all the time, but, you know, we, we trade off of the ABCD pattern, so we don't watch the trend lines. But if you clean this out just a little bit, you can see the valid trend line. This was a thing that was done by uh, Hearst and his profit magic of stock transaction timing. Now, how does the market know that it's going to hit these numbers? Look at this. There's there's a 382 right here. There's a 382 right here. Look at your A, 
B, C, D on the way down. My goodness, you know, this is not uh, this is not trying to build a, rebuild a, the pyramids or the Sphinx, folks. This is just trying to find a, a low-risk trade that you can hang your hat on, isn't it? That's what it looks like to me. Now, we're going to have to take a break here in just about, oh, we got a minute and 18 seconds. Time for one more stock to look at, and that was uh, ADM. Hold on one second. We, we, uh, we liked that one a long time ago. We'll see how it's doing. Up, oh, it's still going up, folks. We're way, at, we're almost to the 382 now. This was the target on this. This is where we had the big drop. Very, very bad news. The market came down, had all that bad news. Couldn't make a new low. Okay, that was your buy point down here at 52. We're now up uh, 20 some percent, almost at the 382 here at 64.41. And this has been a pretty good move right here. You knew you were right when something came out. The good news, whatever it was, it gapped up 10 percent that day, and it's still going. And this might go a whole lot higher. I don't know, but it's still acting pretty good. It's much better to buy it here, okay, than to buy it uh, here or here. That's all I can say. Let's take a break here. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, take a break. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a stranger in the house. Jeff Huge, how are you? I am well, Larry. How are you doing? Well, did you get enough lobster and mussels and stuff down there in New Zealand? Whitefish. Whitefish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Man, that's what they serve. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a great place. Uh, I was there during an earthquake uh, during the G20 meeting many years ago, and it was really still a pretty cool place. But listen, let's talk about where we are in the market. Jeff, we've seen these markets explode since October the 27th in, a, in a, an explosive blow-off that we hadn't seen for probably 60, 70 years. And uh, are we anywhere near a place where we're going to get a relatively uh, – well, you want to talk about Treasury yields first, so let's certainly let's certainly do that, okay? Sure. Well, let me answer both questions. You know, number one, uh, you know, the market's up 27 percent off that uh, that uh, low back in October uh, into its recent highs, and you know, the first 20 percent of that occurred in the first two months. So the last three months, we've seen about a seven percent uh, increase or so in price, and uh, you know, from my perspective, I mean. That's an indication that momentum is waning, right? So, so with respect to what's happening in the market, I think we're near a turning point. And in fact, today is a very important Montgomery cycle turn date, uh, April 8th, which is the solar eclipse today. And oftentimes you see major market turns or big stock market action on eclipse days or within, you know, plus or minus a couple trading days. And so I think we're very, very close to you know, a major turning point in the market. If we take a look at the 10-year Treasury yield right now, we can see that it's breaking out from an interesting pattern here. You know, as you said, I was away for about a month in New Zealand and not really staring at yields day to day, but, you know, keeping up with things on a week-to-week -week basis. And it was interesting to see this pattern form uh, to the right, which looks like an inverted head and shoulders pattern. It could also be the handle of a larger degree cup and handle pattern. Either way, it's resolved to the upside on the breakout above 435, and it counts to a, a measured move to at least 467 if we're looking at that um, inverted head and shoulders pattern in dark blue. The light gray pattern actually counts to 492, which is just shy of the 499 recent uh, cycle high. And, you know, my suspicion is if we get much above that, uh, uh, that 499 level, that could resolve an even larger pattern that would count up to about 620. So in my view, I think what's happening here is you're seeing a major shift here uh, in yields, and that is going to have an impact on stock market valuations because the higher uh, Treasury yields move, you know, the, the higher that, that terminal uh, rate and discounted cash flow models uh, goes. And so it makes stocks look much, much more expensive and, uh, you know, Serious valuation-oriented institutional investors are going to be uh, more hesitant to commit new capital and probably more likely to sell. Wow, that's really – I have to agree with that. It's, that happens to be a bullish-looking chart. And here we have the yellow metal itself. The whole world loves this stuff. So well, what's your yeah, price well, you objective on this? The, um, the outflows in uh, – uh, the GLD, right? You know, because I think uh, what what's happening here is even though the price of gold is going up, there have been significant uh, outflows in the uh, underlying holdings of GLD, and so um, what what this really tells me is that there's kind of a um, you know a, it's a non-confirmation or or a positive divergence, if you will. Uh, oftentimes, you see you know the little guy, the little guy who's investing in GLD you know, give up on a trend just as it's beginning to happen here. And we've traced out in kind of a light gray a pattern that we, we recognize here, which is a very large degree, you know, uh, decade-long uh, cup and handle uh, pattern that has resolved to the upside uh, above 2,200. And we now think it's poised to run to around 2,550 or so initially just on the handle but if we would look at the cup, the larger degree cup pattern, we can actually count a move up to 2,800 from that point. And, wow. uh, you know, we think that could happen inside of the next year. Believe it or not, gold is beating the S&P 500. 
by 400 basis points year to date. It's up 13.2%. We came out at the beginning of the year and we called gold our top actionable trade of 2024. We continue to believe that that is operative at this point. Gold should continue to outperform equities and all other assets, in our opinion. Well, it certainly looks good. I've been in a bit of the gold market. Oh my God, since seven. Well, I started back in the '60s when we had, uh, you know, the silver coins that were 90 percent. You know, those were the easiest thing in the world to buy. But uh, silver, it was really lagging badly. Do you, do you have any comment? We have a comment from one of our listeners uh, about. Uh, uh, where, where do you think silver is going? Because we got silver around twenty-eight dollars an ounce, and you know, the old high in silver was fifty-four. That it's hit twice. I, I've always yeah. thought that silver would get to a hundred dollars an ounce someday, but you know it's certainly lagging. Well, it is lagging, and, and it always does. You know, uh, silver's a follow-up here, and I think if we can get above, say, twenty-eight dollars on the SLV, which is the ETF that uh, tracks the uh, spot silver yeah. price. Uh, then I think it can really get, uh, you know, some momentum behind it. I would expect it to run some, you know, up to around 40, 44. A breakout above that old high uh, back in 2011, which is right around 48 or 50 right in there, uh, that could be what carries uh, uh, silver to $90 an ounce. I think that will happen eventually. Uh, it, it could happen very quickly, too, if you recall, once silver broke out back in like 2010 or so, it was it went vertical for like six months and and went from you know something like 18 to 48 in less than six months. So I think that the recovery catch-up rally could be steeper than uh, the rally that we're expecting in gold. Okay, Jeff. Uh, you know I have uh, you know occasionally you know because you you were bearish and the market broke out to the upside just like I did. I was wrong. You were you were wrong. You kept going higher. But what people don't realize, Jeff, that you were trading stocks all during that time, and your record during that time is really uh, really superlative. And I'm it's I've posted it up here in the room right now. We've got a break coming up, but I want you to tell the folks. Why you separate your analysis from your trading? Because I mean, what you said when you see something and you did it, it didn't have anything to do with your opinion. You just did what you were supposed to do. And look at your win rate, seventy-eight percent. Man, that's that's uh, that's that's really spectacular, my friend. So yeah, it's a bull market that, win rate. I'll, I'll tell you that. And you know, there's no question. We had been looking for the market to top. Uh, we've been wrong about that. We adjusted our Elliott Wave count. Uh, we now think that uh, we're, we're ending the fifth wave now, uh, as opposed to back in uh, yeah. 2022. Uh, but, you know, we're bottom-up investors, too. We just look at stocks and we look at trends and we buy stocks that are breaking out of range consolidations, making new 52-week highs, uh, preferably even new highs. And we, and we stick with them and we just let them run until they break their 20 day moving average, at which point oh, we sell them. Good. And uh, we keep a stop loss running uh, below them. But we average true ranges to pull our risk. Listen, stay with us. We got some more with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, get your pencil and paper out because he's got some trading ideas here. Uh, boy, I tell you, look at these. Uh, I, this is really statistical stuff that I love. Please continue, my friend, and let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, you know, every uh, week, Larry, for our institutional clients who subscribe to our Alpha Insights Investment Strategy and Trade Advisory Service, uh, we publish a top actionable trade ideas list with five of our top bullish setups and five of our top bearish setups. A lot of our clients are hedge funds, so they love to have that kind of balance between longs and shorts. And so, you know, we've identified uh, a couple of names here in energy that we think look very, very promising. As you can see, uh, they're kind of in the improving category in terms of their relative strength momentum, and it's really accelerating sharply. And so I think, you know, if you if you take a look at Champion X, for example, and I'll be real honest with you, um, I'm not very familiar with the company from a fundamental perspective. In fact, I never even heard of it before until about two or three weeks ago. So honestly, it showed up on my 52-week high list that I started doing a little technical uh, work on it. And it looks to me like the stock has the potential to break out here. And if that breakout uh, carries, that it could move the stock up to around $50 a share, which would be about a 25% upside move. Um, the other name on the long side that stands out is a, is a well-known energy stock by the name of ConocoPhillips. And uh, this is a much, much bigger, uh, large cap sort of name, well-known, big dividend. Uh, the stock is breaking out from one of two patterns, either a symmetrical triangle pattern, which is a continuation pattern, or kind of a minor uh, cup and handle base formation. In either case, a breakout above 134 would project a measured move to at least $180, possibly more. Uh, we're setting our stop loss down around the 10-week moving average. We think a breakdown below that level would uh, uh, probably be reason to, you know, uh, pull the ripcord and, and exit the trade. But, um, you know, I think energy really has a lot of uh, uh, gas in the tank, no pun intended, and uh, could be a leader for a number of months going forward. So uh, we like energy. Uh, we like, uh, you know, higher oil prices here, too, if we're talking crude. On the short side, um, you know, a couple of names that have stood out uh, is having real problems. First one is Nike. This is a Dow stock. And uh, Nike appears to be in a large degree you know, structural head and shoulders uh, pattern. That's a major topping pattern. It's breached its long-term trend on a monthly closing basis. And we think a breakdown below $82, which is just a few dollars below where it's trading now, 
could carry the stock all the way back down into the mid 30s. Uh, so this is one to watch. We'd also point out that the monthly momentum and relative strength uh, lines have been negative for some time and continue to point down. Uh, finally, I'd point to Biogen. This is a uh, large cap biotech stock, which you know had been trading around four hundred and seventy five dollars uh, a share as recently as twenty twenty one and has literally collapsed down to uh, the low two hundreds, about two oh three, two oh four right now. The break below uh, 220 actually is pretty alarming because there's been a very large 10-year uh, range consolidation that's been in place. And clearly, we've seen a breakdown. Uh, this breakdown, if it continues, uh, should uh, uh, project a measured move down to at least 161 and potentially much, much lower uh, if uh, the momentum on the downside continues. We'd set our stop loss here at about 230. Uh, but again, we look at that that monthly uh, uh, relative strength ratio as well as relative strength momentum, both pointing hard down and, and having been negative for many, many months now. And so these are typically precursors to price performance in the same direction. Okay. Sorry for the interruption, folks, but Google timed me out. I've been doing this with Google forever, and that's the first time they've ever logged me out for time. I don't know why that is. and. Anyway, that, this is really good stuff, Jeff. I, I really appreciate uh, you're able to tell the folks about how they can uh, get your newsletter up because a newsletter is uh, the cost of a hamburger. Uh, tell the folks yeah, what you – know, uh, oh, I love I, this I picture. I just learned, Larry, that uh, we, we've got a top 100 newsletter on Substack right now. Uh, so I guess, you know, people must like it. Uh, they put us in the top 100. That's wow, of that's great. Paid subscribers. So you can access it at hugeinsights.substack.com. Uh, the most recent issue just went out on Saturday, April 6th. Uh, it's entitled Into Thin Air. Uh, and I think the cartoon uh, that we're indicating here kind of shows you what we think. And, and we dig into the whys behind that. Uh, in great detail, as well as publish our, our full forecast for the S&P 500 and a number of other major markets. So uh, for those who want to delve into our, uh, you know, musings, um, you know, it's it's worth your time. Again, hugeinsights.substack.com. Where do you get these cartoons? Where do these come from? Uh... This comes from Hedgeye. I'm a subscriber to Hedgeye, and oh. uh, they send me these cartoons all the time. So I asked them if they wouldn't mind if I used them, and they said, as long as I put uh, www.hedgeye.com uh, below them, I'm welcome to use them anytime I want. So I take full <laughs> advantage of that. <laughs> well, that's very good. Yeah, that's really good. Listen, I want to thank you for being our guest today. We'll have you on again soon. And anytime you want to come on as a guest with something special, just let me know and, and we'll have you back. And I'm glad you're back safe from that wonderful vacation. Uh, what is a vacation? Uh, how, how do you handle that? Do you look at the markets every day like I do or do you, do you actually pass away from it? You know, I was 18 hours off our my normal time zone, so it was difficult. Sure. I'd wake up, I'd kind of scan things just to see what's happening. Yeah. But for the most part, I was kind of in a different world. <laughs> oh, it is different there. Yeah, I've been there three times, and I, I love it very much. I got a bunch of uh, friends there, and I, it's one of the most beautiful. The, people don't realize the mountains and skiing stuff that they have in New Zealand, that it's really, uh, really, and well, I like it's Australia, too. But... paradise I've found. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Amen for that. Hey, thanks for joining us, Jeff. I, I really do appreciate it. So we'll have you on again really soon, okay? Very thank you. Bye-bye now. You bet. Jeff Huge, folks, of Alpha Insights. We'll take a look here, a couple of charts here that we're watching very closely. Now, this happens to be the, oh, one thing we'll have to cover here. Uh, this is the gold. Let me just show you where we are in the gold right now. We just made an ABCD Gartley here at 58. You can see there's the ABCD. It went right up to to uh, 58.20. And so as long as we don't get above 58.20, this has got a chance for a little bit of a move to the downside. And as you can see, this has the possibility of also being a 1-3. Whoopsie daisy, this thing is so sensitive. I have a very important announcement, folks, coming back from the break. So please, if you've ever been on the air with me these 17 years, please stay tuned for the important announcement that I have coming up uh, when the break comes up. But this is where we are here with the gold market. Blow it up a little bit. You can still see the uh, ABCD pattern. This is the kind of trade that I would be doing uh, on Friday. 
uh, that was just, well, shucks, this just doesn't draw because it's so sensitive to the actual absolute perfect lows and stuff. But there's your A, B, C, D right there. So that's what I'm watching here uh, in the gold market. We're going to take a break now. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for a very important announcement, and we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I try to stay away from politics uh, in this stuff. And just about everything in my life, I stay away from politics. I do pray a lot, though, folks, and I have a family member that uh, is uh, a little bit under the weather, more or less, uh, much more than less. I really need your prayers today, folks. Send a white light out for me, please, to my family member, uh, who's a great deal to me, and uh, he's a very nice young man. But anyway, let's uh, let's do that. Please do that for me. Uh, also, I kept those charts up on the gold. We could easily see gold 100, 2, 300, 400 dollars higher the next three or four weeks on some type of a spectacular blow off. You'll notice the Jap Japanese yen has already done that. So whether the numbers that I'm looking at mean anything or not, I don't know. Uh, all I know is you got to use a stop when you're using these things. Okay, that's the main thing that you really want to do. 
very, very important, okay? That's what I'd really like to get through to you. And tomorrow, uh, we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics because uh, we've got uh, crude oil at a very, very important level along with heating oil and gasoline. And then later on this week, on the 11th, we're going to have, on his birthday, by the way, who I've known for just about 60 years, Rich Anderson will be talking to us about the grain markets. We're going to have a great chance to buy grains again, folks. The oil is sold off from our price objective Friday, and we're going to save some money there and add it at a really good price. So stay tuned for tomorrow because uh, we got some good buys coming up and these things. Like the man says, it's a friendly hello and a goodbye. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And uh, please stay on the green side of the grass and pray for everyone that you know and especially my family member uh, that needs as much help as uh, she can get. And I hope that uh, everything, I know it's going to turn out. What scares me is doing something, someone gets sick during the time of a solar eclipse. You never know what's going to happen. But I don't understand that stuff anyway. I'll have to ask Shane about that or Mr. Winsky. All right. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And may God bless. Mm -hmm.